one inch aluminum spacer, ball joints down here, JBA upper control arm, and these are the two inch, these are the two inch grade eight bolts. Hey guys, I'm gonna go buy the extended hardware for these one inch spacers. I need to get just under two inches. That'll seem to work. Some grade eight. If you do this, be sure to get grade eight to be safe. I think these stock ones on the JBA may be grade five. I don't know, they could be grade eight. But I'll catch you on the next one soon. Hello you guys, this is the grade eight bolts I'm going to use. The spacer, I need two inches. This is gonna work out just fine, perfect. Right now I'm installing these one inch spacers for the K6292 ball joint. This is a Chevy ball joint that JBA uses for the Jeep Liberty KJ02 to 2007. And this spacer fits perfectly on it and I'm using these right now to bring my upper control arm up. Hello you guys. This is the finished product right here. One inch aluminum spacer, ball joints down here. JBA upper control arm and these are the two inch these are the two inch grade eight bolts these are the stock nuts that came with the JBA control arm these are five sixteenths where's the bag these are five sixteenths eighteen by two inches it's the same size the same um, with the nut and everything so didn't have to buy those, but I just got the grade eight bolts. And the stock grade eight JBAs were only grade five. And um, I'm pretty sure they're grade five. I forgot to check. And I'm sure that's all I'd need for this, but just because I got a spacer on there, I decided get grade eight. I'm not gonna go wrong there. I didn't tighten it yet. I just put it back together. Hello you guys, once again. <clears throat> this is Fun and Automotive. And in this video, it's going to continue the upper control arm spacers for the upper control arm knocking on the spring. Um, I just did my alignment, so that's all good and taken care of and everything. So I'll show you guys all of that. And also, another thing is my tires are good. <clears throat> they are nice, they are straight. Everything seems to be just fine, but my my um, driver's side, I'm sorry, they're not exactly straight. My driver's side is about a quarter of an inch off. So the top of the tire is still popping out a quarter of an inch. That's as far as I can get the, the, <clears throat> the uh, camber on the bottom of the tire out. But that's okay because it's only like that mainly because my driver's side is shorter than my passenger side, which means it's shorter, it's, it's lower, I should say, it's lower, which means the upper control arm is higher on the driver's side, which means it's going to pop the tire out just that much more than the passenger side. So the other day, I raised my driver's side up, about, uh, I would say a good quarter of an inch, maybe three-eighths, somewhere between, somewhere along there, quarter of an inch, I'd say, and <clears throat> it did bring that upper control arm in a bit more. And that's why it's only a quarter of an inch now, that the upper control arm is pushing the top of the driver's side tire out. Now, let me show you all this right now. Let me get this camera turned around. And we'll take a look at that. I don't know if you guys can tell, but pretty much straight. This side. And this is the driver's side. Pretty much straight. Just not even noticeable. I've had no wear on that thing whatsoever. Nowhere whatsoever. It's been doing perfectly good, straight. Everything's been gravy on that. <clears throat> the passenger side, that's all good. 
It's been good. Like I said, it's been doing just fine, especially since I raised it. Now let me, let's check out the upper control arm spacers. And I'll show you just exactly how much gap I have now. There you go. Right there, about a half inch or so whatsoever but it doesn't matter because every bump I've gone over I miss it I don't hit I don't hit the spring it misses the spring every time so it's good on that I don't have any problems whatsoever on that part let's take a look at the passenger side now it's good as well it looks close on camera because the angle but it's not it's nice and far from it See if I can get my hand in there. All right, yeah, this one about the same. It's good too. It doesn't clunk. I'm very, very happy with these upper control arms. I'm glad that that I was able to find these and get them installed. As you can see, no wear. Everything's doing just fine. No wear whatsoever. I'm happy with these uh, spacers for sure. Very happy. All right, let me show you another look. That's the upper control arm spacer right there. Looking good. I can't get the camera that far back there. This is the driver side, my problem side. It's all good. The, the passenger side looks just like this. So, there's really no need for me to show you that. Like I said in my last video, these are grade eight. If you haven't seen that last video, go ahead and check that out. It'll show you exactly what bolts you're gonna wanna use. These are the stock nuts that came with the JBA that are on here. So, go ahead and check that out. Now, with these upper control arm spacers, I really think that they're a good buy and they're good. As you know, if your upper, uh, for, uh, for your, if your, um, sorry, if your upper control arm is still pushing that tire out, you just need to go higher. If anything, so if you're at, sitting at like a three inch lift and it's doing it, just go a bit higher. It'll bring the upper control arm down. That's my problem. That's what I did and it fixed it. But if you're already maxed, if you're already at like, I'm just past five inches of lift, I'm at like uh, five and a half almost. And I wasn't, it's obviously harder to go up higher. I can't find extended bolts for the subframe, so I was trying to get up, get it up to a seven inch lift not long ago. And couldn't find any extended subframe bolts, so the moment I find those bolts, I'll be able to go up to a seven inch lift, which I really don't need. Five inch, five and a half inches of lift is plenty. So, <clears throat> I don't think I'm going to be doing that. It was a little hard for me to get that upper control arm to straighten out. So that's why that, that, it was a problem. So I raised it up on that side just enough. I raised it, just kept trying and trying and trying because it was a pain in the butt. I don't want that axle to be fully maxed out and crooked. And it worked. I was able to get a quarter of an inch, maybe just a little more than that, and <clears throat> straightened it out a lot. And um, yeah, I'm, I'm very happy with it. I will post these spacers in the link below. If you guys are interested and you guys want to purchase these for yourself, because you saw the outcome and how it's going to be. Um, with a two inch, two and a half inch lift, I don't, I don't know if it'll pop them out. I don't know if it'll do it with a three inch lift or, or anything. That's, this is just my situation. This is how I have it set up. So it could be different for you. It may not even do anything funky for you. It may not even pop out. It may be just straight. I'm not sure. So if you want to get these, like I said, they will be in the description. Um, I think they're $100 for a set. But I think it's a good buy. It's a very good buy if you had my problem of your upper control arm having contact with your spring. If you have that problem, I think these are it. Um, they, I haven't found, I, well, I found one guy in Russia who sells them, I think by, what was it? I think by a quarter of an inch spacers for that. So if you guys don't want a whole inch, you can 
find him. Really, I, w I don't know exactly how to contact him or how to get him. I lost his information somehow on the internet. And um, if I ever find that information, I will post that up and let you guys know if you guys want that. But these are aluminum one inch spacers for the upper, for the JBA Jeep Liberty 2002 to 2007 upper JBA control arms. So these are just for these control arms. So if you want them, you will know where to find them. And spread the word, share this video, you guys, let everybody know that I, I found these and if you need them, come get them. So this is Fun and Automotive, and as always, I will catch you later. Goodbye.